Okay, problem number eight. It says the accompanying diagram shows two intersecting paths within a circular garden. What is the length of the portion of the path that is marked as x? And this is just going to use a theorem from geometry that says this length times this length, so 5 times x, equals the product of the other two lengths, equals this length times this length. In other words, equals 6 times 10. So all I got to do here is divide by 5 on both sides. Divide by 5. Cancels that. That turns into a 2. So x equals 6 times 2, and x equals 12. Okay. The key thing to keep in mind is that this 5 times this x equals that 6 times that 10. Maybe in another video I will do a, a small proof of that. Okay. Problem number 9 says if f of x is 3x minus 15 and g of x equals x minus 9, which expression is equivalent to f of g of x? So this is just a bit of notation here. f, and then that circle, f of g of x, right, of x, is the same as writing the function f, and then a big parenthesis, with g of x inside of it. Okay, so what that means is that we take the function f of x, this 3x minus 5, and wherever we see an x, we just put a big old parenthesis. So f, oops, I'm sorry, edit, undo. So what we're going to do is take the 3x, and instead of writing an x, we're going to put a big set of parentheses like this, and then minus 5, there is no x, so we don't put any more parentheses. And inside that parentheses, I'm going to put the function g of x. I'm going to put x minus 9. So in here, I put x minus 9. Right? And then I just distribute the 3. So I get 3x minus 27. And then that minus 5 is just kind of hang there, not doing anything. Now we just combine 3x minus 32. And that is the answer, 3x minus 32. Problem number 10. A central angle of a circular garden measures 2.5 radians and intercepts an arc of 20 feet. What is the radius of the garden? Okay, so we're looking for the radius here of the garden. And the simplest way to do this is to set up a uh, proportion. So we're going to have 2.5 radians, 2.5 radians over 20 feet, feet equals and we know that there are pi radians in a full circle, so pi radians over whatever the circumference is. Circumference. F E R E N C E, yep. Okay. We'll just abbreviate that as a C. Okay, so we have 2.5 radians over 20 feet equals pi radians over whatever the full circumference is. But pi radians over circumference, circumference we should know is equal to uh, pi times the radius. So pi radians over pi times r. So immediately we have these pi's canceling out. And we want to solve for r. So basically, we multiply 2.5 over 20 by r, and then we multiply by the reciprocal of this fraction, 2.5 over 20, and we have radius equals 20 feet over 2.5 radians. And then really, just to make sure our units are all right, we're actually multiplying by radians on both sides. So this turns out to be exactly 8 feet. Okay, so the radius is equal to 8 feet. Okay, we'll see you next in question number 11.